it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas, and today we're going to make New England style clam chowder. This is a cream based chowder instead of the tomato based Manhattan style chowder. I just think the cream based tastes so much better. But I don't claim this to be an authentic New England clam chowder. There's all sorts of arguments about what that even means because there's so many ways that people make New England clam chowder. But for my version, there's two things that I like to do. First of all, I love using fresh clams. I think it just tastes so much better. And something about canned clams just kind of weirds me out. And I haven't found a brand that I think really tastes good. And then the second thing is this isn't a flour thickened soup. I think sometimes New England clam chowders can be kind of gloopy and thick, if you know what I mean. And I just don't think that's as delicious. I love the texture of this soup. Let me show you how to make it. Start by rinsing two dozen little neck clams, making sure to wash off any mud or sand from the outside, and then put them in a bowl and top with cold water and let the clams soak for about 30 minutes so they can spit out any sand from the inside. In the meantime, chop up one large yellow onion. You wanna end up with about two cups total for this. And when the clams are done, rinse off the clams again and then add them to the bottom of a soup pot and cover with a half cup of dry white wine. Turn the heat to high and cover the pot with a lid. Let the liquid come to a full boil and then give the clams about four to five minutes to open up. Then you can remove the clams from the liquid. And sometimes the clams are stubborn to open and might need a little bit more time, but if any of them don't open after seven to eight minutes, throw them out. The clam liquid this time around was a bit muddy, so I discarded it, but if it looks relatively clear, you can strain out any sand in a paper towel line strainer and incorporate that into your chowder, but you'll be fine without it as well. Clean the pot out and add three strips of thick cut bacon. This is about four ounces. And while that cooks and crisps up, you can remove all of the clams from the shell with your fingers. Remove the bacon from the pot and blot some of the excess bacon fat with a paper towel and then add all of your yellow onion and stir and cook that for about 10 minutes to soften, scraping up any of the brown bits from the bottom of the pan. Next, add two eight ounce bottles of clam juice, that's two cups, and add an extra cup of water as well and bring that to a boil. In the meantime, dice up a large half pound russet potato, add that to the chowder and simmer the potatoes for about 10 minutes until tender. Crumble up the bacon and add that and the clams to the chowder. Then add a half cup of heavy cream, stir that in, and then I like to add a little pinch of cayenne pepper. Give that a stir and make any necessary salt and pepper seasoning adjustments and it's ready to serve. Got a bowl of my chowder here, just getting a spoonful with clam, bacon, potato, and onion on here. Let's give this a taste. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is just spectacular. I mean, the flavor is just the perfect blend of that sweet cream dairy and that sea briny clam. It's so good. The sweetness of the onion, the meatiness and smokiness from that little bit of bacon. It's nice and hearty from those potatoes and they thicken the broth ever so slightly, but it's still got a really nice consistency to it. I absolutely love this chowder so much. Well, I hope you guys enjoy learning how to make this recipe and I hope you give it a try. I think it's a nice, simple recipe but still has so much flavor and it's so good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.